Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Twitterner, and I'm here to answer a question. A question that's already in the title. A question that I hear quite often on forums and such, uh, also in some videos here you know, and there. The question is, is Team Fortress 2 dying? Now, I could make like a 30 seconds video of this and just say no, it's not. Uh, but I should explain at least explain why I think this is the case. So the term this game is dying is used way too often, is overused in my opinion. You what you need to do is if you ask that question is this game it dying, then you need to ask yourself when does this game die? Does this game die when it loses ten thousand people, fifty thousand people, a million people? Or is this a percentage? Is it 10%, 20% of his player base, 50, 100%, all of his players are suddenly gone up into the smoke? Take the example of World of Warcraft, for example. World of Warcraft is... you probably fell familiar with the game, I played it once, a pretty long time ago actually. And the game is the most popular MMORPG out there, with over 10 million people playing the game. So people have been saying uh, World of Warcraft is dying for as long as I remember playing the game. Every single time World of Warcraft loses subscribers I, I hear on the forums and such and people saying in chat like Oh no, World of Warcraft is dying! And then it loses perhaps like 1 million people. Which, which is a lot of people, don't get me wrong. But it's probably only like 10% of the entire player base. Which is still not all that much uh, when you look at the percentage. It's all the relative, kind of. Now, what is also um, very important in games is the game's longevity. Like, are people still going to play the game just for the sake of there just being a lot of content? And the Fortress definitely has a lot of content. Uh, the game is pretty old by now. It has a lot of content being added over the couple of years. People are well are playing the game. Features like replays, uh, mod support. I'm not sure if that was even an update, maybe it's just whatever. Um, but there's mod support, there is replays, there is now MVM. There's tons of stuff you can do with the game. Uh, you can also create your own maps and stuff, like myself. Um, I've been creating my own map, uh, as you probably very well aware. But the game has very much a longevity because you can do a lot of different stuff with the game. You can even just use it as a tool to make videos. Uh, you can use the replay feature. You can use also use Source Filmmaker for that if you want. Like, there's so much you can do with the game that it has a lot of longevity. And I'll admit, even after like playing a thousand hours of TF2, I don't think I have discovered everything there is to do yet. So. Now, what is, I do think is, is true is that there are less new players than there used to be. What I notice over, overall, the skill uh, skill level of the players had, has gone up on average. That's just proof to me that there are less new players than there used to be. But I do think those players often go to MVM if they are new. Because in MVM you don't really have to fight against people that are just way better than you and get dominated. Uh, by like five different people, you just find bots and it probably won't go that, that well, but at least they can do stuff and kill bots and just do stuff, you know, like you know what I'm saying, right? They are the people that are new as probably driven towards MVM. So, but to be honest, what it comes down to, I wouldn't be too concerned about there being less new players. I think it's noble after like 10 years, I don't know, there being just like less new players than they used to be. Uh, now, I have seen games that kind of where you could apply the word this game died to. Well, which isn't one word, it's multiple words, but still. You could apply the words uh, that that the game died. Uh, an example would be, let's give me give a couple of examples here. Shoot Many Robots is a game that I liked a uh, pretty long time ago. That doesn't really have a player base anymore. Uh, Strike Factor is a game that really is suffering from not having a lot of players. It probably has only like one active server. <laughs> there are definitely games out there where you could apply the word, okay, this game barely has any players left whatsoever. Maybe you could say that this, this game died, but even even then, like, there are still people like myself that still go back to the older games uh, just for nostalgia reasons. Uh, to, to this day, there are still games that are played that are very old. Uh, for example, Settles 2, 
is still the game that I still play. Uh, SimCity 2000, especially since the newest SimCity isn't that good. Webstore is also a game that I really played, some kind of shoot, shoot them up thingy. Team Hospital is another one. There are tons of games that I still play. I, I was actually thinking about uh, making a series on those games because I play so much of them. So much all the games that I still go back to. Team Fortress, will, Team Fortress 2 will still be one of those games where people will go back to. Hell, to this day there are still people playing the good old Team Fortress Classic. I think, I think it still has like a couple of thousand people still playing the game. If I can go by the Steam, uh, Steam user reviews. Uh, someone, do, someone was seeing there that it still has like over 100 active servers. Which is quite a lot for a really old game. To give you a conclusion, Team Fortress 2 is... It lasted like uh, 10 years. Unless something really revolutionary happens like we will be able to live inside of the inside of a virtual world like a matrix and we wouldn't be using our computers anymore maybe then people won't be playing t fortress 2 anymore i don't know but unless something really revolutionary happens t fortress 2 lasted 10 years it will probably last another 10 years thanks for watching and take care folks